Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be memory planning for the week of January 17th through the 23rd and I'm using a kit from Sadie Stickers called Let's Snuggle. This kit is in rose gold foil and I never would have guessed that I would use so many rose gold kits in January. This is the fourth one in a row but I am loving all the kits that I've chosen this year. This one in particular is probably my favorite because the colors are my favorites. I love pinks and blues and these types of flowers are probably my favorite style. So I'm just really excited to finally use this kit. I think this kit was intended for fall. The wood grain definitely looks like it could be fall. But for me, I like blues in January and I feel like January is probably one of the coldest months in California. So I thought this one was appropriate to use. When I laid down the date covers, I was kind of saving date cover deco for the end. But after I finished the sidebar, I actually went in and put in some floral trim from the Pretty Pink Co. Because I knew that the floral deco that came with the kit wasn't going to be enough to decorate throughout the spread and also add to the date covers. So I'm glad that I was able to find some that matched this kit. For my washi weekend banner, I used a bunch of Simply Gilded washi and I also used one from Sadie Stickers which was in her advent calendar this year and also a couple of washi flags from the kit. The Hello Weekend script that I used is from the Glitter Mama. I'm currently in a rush to get this voiceover done and to get to planning more spreads and get more videos set up to be edited because my boys both are sick and my husband is sick so I am kind of just awaiting the moment that I start feeling sick and my voice goes out. Right now PJ is probably the most noticeably sick like with his throat his voice is definitely different because he has been coughing and benny hasn't been too bad he mostly has trouble sleeping at night and has some congestion but i'm pretty sure my husband would say that he's the worst and the most sick i think partly has to do with him being able to suppress his cough not letting himself cough so maybe that's part of it but he has definitely been the most miserable PJ and Benny have been running around super happy, so I'm not really sure if I'm going to get sick. I'm nervous to get sick because everyone is just coughing and sick around me, so I'm kind of preparing for it, I guess. Growing up, I remember I was always the last one to get sick. I don't really know what that says about me, but I remember I always used to think that I was clear and wasn't going to get sick. It was, I just had it in my mind that everyone else was sick and somehow I dodged it and I was always wrong or most of the time I was wrong. So I'm not really sure how to feel right now. I'm just kind of preparing for it and waiting for it to happen. But I am also trying to figure out which spreads I want to work on and which ones I want to film and which ones I kind of want to skip over there are some weeks where i didn't have a lot of notes so i might skip over those but we are now in may and this is a january spread so i really need to figure something out in my last plan with me where i was showing my sweet quiet design functional planner i was talking a lot about pj and him getting sick every month and the way he gets sick and going to the doctor and all that i did write an update in the description box so if you want to see how that went i will just quickly touch on it here basically his doctor is not worried about him throwing up every month and as long as he always has symptoms afterwards in one way or another it seems like this is how his body works so as long as that continues in the same pattern no matter what the illness is he is not worried about it so i'm just gonna keep track of it how i have been and go from there i'm really hoping that summer will be a nice break from him getting sick but anyways, in my sidebar, I pulled in one of these hanging signs from Sadie Stickers, but they were a collab with Shantae Plans, and I used the largest floral in the deco sheet and tried to wrap it around the sign a bit, and I also added the January script from the Pretty Pink Co. It took me a while to get the flowers exactly how I wanted them, but I'll probably cut most of that out. I really wanted to add these simple line headers above all the full boxes, so I just added that in the sidebar as well. In my blank weekly schedule, I track my sleep as well as my sleep score from my Fitbit app. I also have the habit trackers and fill in the rest of the space with a header and a paint swatch. 
I may not go over every single sticker in this spread, but I will say that I use a lot of icons from White Deer Stationery, and most of my non-foiled scripts are from Station Stickers, but I'll have all the shops that I use in the spread linked down below. You can always leave me a comment if you have any questions. Getting into the week. On Monday, PJ didn't have school this day because it was MLK Day, and normally I would start with that, but since I wanted to use this backpack icon, I decided to add no school at the top because the sticker I wanted to use for Coffee Monday also had an icon that I wanted on this side, so that is why I decided to do that, but... Like I said, it was MLK Day. This script is from The Glitter Mama. And later I go in and add some florals to this half scallop. But this was definitely one of those times where I was kind of hesitant to use the florals because there were so little that were available. So I did go in at the end and try to fit in florals where I could. Like I mentioned, I also added Coffee Monday. This sticker is from Sticky Bow Babies, and she goes by Two Little Bow Babies on YouTube and Instagram. And she recently uploaded a video after quite a while of not uploading, and her shop has been closed for a while also. And I think in that video, she mentioned that she wanted to reopen her shop, so I'm really excited. I will be eagerly waiting for her to open because I just love her style of stickers. Underneath the full box, I added a couple of boxes. One of them I cut down to make a little shorter and added the icon in there, but I wanted to mark that the H3 podcast was back this day. They took a break for the holidays, and after almost a month, they were finally back, which was really exciting. And then I tried to fit in here that I started cleaning the garage with my husband. We could only work on it for a few hours at a time. It's just kind of like an overwhelming project at this point, but we got a lot done and it looks a lot better than it did. At the bottom of this day, I wrote that the boys did paint by numbers and this sticker is from Hello Petite Paper. On Tuesday... I believe this clock is from Sadie Stickers, but I wrote that I had to set my alarm since we were going back to school and it's always a hard transition to wake up early again, but the boys were up early. They usually wake up early every day either way, so it's mostly a hard transition for me, but they were ready early and it was kind of nice because normally the mornings are always a rush, so it was just nice to not have to rush this day. Below that, I wrote that I worked out twice this day. At this time, we were kind of trying to figure out a workout routine and whether or not my husband and I wanted to work out together. The problem I had mentioned in a previous video was that the timing was always a little bit off with both of us. He normally has time to work out before dinner or in the evening, and I like to get my workouts done early. So at this point, we were trying to figure out if we can make a schedule work, and I decided I was going to choose certain days that I would do my workouts, and if he was available or home on time, then I would work out with him also. But anyways, I also marked cleaning my room, and I used this chair from Miss and Meow. I have one of these chairs in my room, so that's why it kind of reminded me of that. Then I wrote that there was a COVID case in PJ's class. He had been absent the week before from school, and the notice that I had received said that they were last on campus on a certain day, and so thankfully he had not interacted with this student, so I wasn't as worried, but I was still a little nervous because there could be students in his class who were continuing to spread it. And you'll see coming up in this video and also in the next week, there are more cases that come up. And it was definitely a bit of a scary time, but I'm thankful that it was not brought home and PJ did not get COVID. Below that, I marked putting away all of our Christmas wrapping paper. That's usually one of the last things that I put away in terms of Christmas items. I feel like I kind of get used to having certain boxes. Like I have a box for all the wrapping paper, but I get used to seeing them in my room or in the house. And it was just nice to finally put them back where they belong in the garage. In the half box, I wrote that I watched Married at First Sight. And then I watched Love on the Spectrum with my husband. And I ended this day with my full box. 
on Wednesday. I started with my full wax. Then I marked trash day, which I realized it wasn't even on this day. I kind of snuck it in because I didn't know what else to put here. But since the holiday was Monday, our trash was actually on Thursday, but that's fine. My grandpa had a gallbladder surgery this day, and thankfully that went well. The foiled icon I used was from the Pretty Pink Co. Below that, I wrote that there was another code case in PJ's class. I didn't really want to use icons for those. I didn't know which ones I would use either way. Below that, I marked lunch with my mom. The coffee date sticker is from the Coffee Monsters Co. And at the bottom of the stay, I marked couch time with my husband. Flipping over to Thursday, I layered a few boxes here. I definitely wanted to take up more room for the items that I had on this day because I didn't have a ton of notes. This was kind of a miserable day for me. I was exhausted. So I used a sticker from Pumpkin Paper Co. And I wrote that I was tired and took a lot of mini naps throughout the day. Then I wrote that Benny loves Isabella from Encanto. I think we were talking about his birthday party and what kind of theme he would want. And we kind of talked about Encanto and if that would be a good idea. Because I think that would be fun to decorate for. And he was really excited about that. He said that his favorite character was Isabella. He also loves all of them pretty much he kept naming all of them but his favorite favorite was isabella and he would want his cake decorated like that and have her on his shirt so i kind of was brainstorming this day on what we could do and i asked pj about it and he also wanted to join in on this party theme so right now i'm kind of planning to have their party together and do it somewhere in the middle of their birthdays because they're a month apart this year, PJ, his birthday is in August, and his birthday is actually the first day of school this time, so I know I don't really want to do a party right before like I did last year. It was kind of too hectic, so I'm going to probably do it at the end of July. But yeah, this is where the conversation kind of started with that. Then I layered a couple more boxes. I cut one of them down to fit a little better, but I just used a clean bathroom sticker from Paper Panda. Underneath a full box, I marked a workout with my husband. On Friday, I started with a full box. Then I used a half scallop to mark that I was excited to have coffee again. I always look forward to coffee days. Those days are just so different <laughs> mentally and energy-wise. Below that, I layered a couple of boxes and a sticker from Fox and Cactus to mark the PBC sale. I definitely did a bit more shopping than I probably should have. Then I marked receiving some happy mail from Jacqueline Cosmetics. I believe this time I had received her skin tint, so I was excited to use that because I don't like to put makeup on every day, but I had been looking for something to even out my skin tone, and I will say that I really do like this product from her. Then I marked another workout. I think this one was just on my own. I ended this day with a game night sticker from Fox and Pip. Moving on to the weekend. On Saturday. I started with a full box day extender and inside is where I used my extra full box. I marked sleeping in this day which was really nice and I also wrote that I cut my hair. I don't remember the last time I went in to get a haircut professionally done. I have been cutting my own hair for so long. I think I just have had not the best experiences and people tend to get scared to cut long hair. I don't think I do the best job at cutting my hair, but it grows pretty quickly, so I'm not really scared about messing it up. Anyways, I also did a workout with my husband this day. I wanted to mark a family movie night, so I pulled in this sticker from Panda Bird Design, which is part of the Gathered Layers collection. This is such a beautiful sticker, and I wanted to use it for something special. We always enjoy our family movie nights and it looks so pretty with the sticker paired with it from Miss and Meow. We ended up watching Encanto again, but I am really into that movie so I do not mind watching it over and over again. 
at the bottom of this day i used a half box and this sticker also from panda bird design the upload script is from harriet wright designs but i did upload a video this day on sunday i moved around the boxes a bit i was trying to figure out what to use obviously this was my last space in my spread so I was almost tempted to add a day extender for this day to just use all of the stickers that I had left over, but I really didn't have a lot of notes this day, so I just used some of my favorites and I kind of moved them around, but I'll probably cut most of that out too. I marked a grocery run, editing, and church. It took me a while to figure out how to use my favorite boxes and how to make them fit. But I forgot to mention that on the bottom of Saturday and Sunday, I added this really long floral. It didn't completely fit across Saturday and Sunday, but I had cut this really long floral deco in half. And then I used some of it on Thursday and whatever was left over, I added it to the end, which was kind of mostly on Sunday and then filled it in with the other side of that long piece so I felt like it kind of blended in really nicely together and I just really wanted to use it and by the time we got to the weekend I knew I kind of had to use it somewhere so might as well try to span it across the bottom of both days but that is all I have for this week here are all the stickers I have left over I am so obsessed with this spread. I love these colors so much. These florals are probably one of my favorites. The bottom washi is so pretty and all of the florals throughout the spread are so pretty. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. When I was filming Monday, I was a little stressed about all the different boxes and trying to use as many as I could. And I had to take a step away, come back and say it's okay to not use all the boxes. So I really tried to at least use my favorites, which were definitely all the ones with these beautiful florals. If the clip art had more of an anytime design, I probably would have used this kit for my birthday. Those florals are perfect to me. But I'm going to go ahead and get started on my next spread. But I really appreciate you guys watching. I know it's not everyone's favorite to watch old spreads, so I really appreciate you guys being here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.